Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well. Uh, before we hop into this video, one thing I realized that I forgot to show is at the end of last video, uh, I didn't show you where we were on the leaderboards, if you were curious. So, I want to take a peek here. We have managed to get to a little under top 60 here. So we're 58th right now, which is pretty cool. We're tied, in theory we're tied for, I guess, 54th <laughs> right here, but... um. Yeah, just cool. Pretty happy about that. And let's uh let's keep it up. Now I, I do have an apology to make as well. I did say um last video that I'd be doing a stream at roughly the time the video uploaded, which I did do, but I think I said during it that I would I would probably be doing some sort of drunk stream. And basically I just didn't drink very much. Uh because I learned that uh twisted tea has a lot of calories in it. I didn't, uh, I've been trying to be on a little bit of a diet lately, and I didn't want to, uh, like, drink a thousand calories of, of, let's be honest, kind of mid-alcohol. So, maybe we'll do it today. We'll, we, I will be doing a stream today. I should clarify that. Maybe I'll be drunk, maybe I won't be, I don't know. I was thinking, actually, uh, there's a there's a new uh, Fadian game out right now that's, that's kind of doing big numbers right now. But I had never played the original Getting Over it, which is not the original Fadian game, I suppose. But I never played uh, Getting Over It. So maybe I'll do a stream of that. Maybe I'll check out the, the new Climbing is Hard game. I forget what the game, name of the game is actually now. But maybe that'll be today's stream. I haven't decided yet. I don't know. But I will be doing a stream today if you want to come check it out. No worries if you don't. Let's play, let's play Slicey. Now, I've been told that Mortal is actually worse than I realized. And I think there's some... It, 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 it is sometimes really bad for you to have mortal right so i get that i understand it i do really like our starting team though i like mage i like splint and i like lost fairly well but these curses I, I i hate expensive spells man expensive spells i feel like just oftentimes will ruin you turns off a lot of really good characters as well so i think here it might just actually be a reroll even though we have a good starting team i think uh, uh getting an easy curse is more important than a good starting team usually um, so I think here we just roll it instead. And we're going to take turn two armor here for sure. Now I hate this starting team. But uh, I don't like heavy weapons. Be a real if you see like the sisters with heavy weapons, I feel like it is just a death sentence for you. Turn turn one armor. Not nearly as bad. So maybe do it this way. Now, in theory, this Brian can kill this thorn. So we'll be looking for the exert side here, maybe. But we need some shields to back them up as well, then. So, oh, we get the exert. Very cool. And we need Scoundrel to hit damage, I'm realizing, too, here. Um, if he doesn't, we're kind of in a little bit of a, of a pickle. We'll see. Okay, Scoundrel not only hits damage, hits pretty good damage. And it doesn't matter here, I guess, I, su I suppose. Scoundrel hits pretty good damage here. <laughs> Play it this way. We could burst one of them, but it doesn't really matter. We can just burst them next turn and they die. So we'll probably do that. Good start. Good start here. There you go. There you go. A student, kind of a stinker, so we're going to be looking to upgrade him as soon as we can. Between these two and a blind pick, I think Faye is better than Armor. I think they're both fine here. And I think Armor does have some initial synergy here with this team, with Student having the shield sides and Scoundrel having the weaken and cleave. But they're tier 1s. So they're not going to be here for long. So we don't know if that synergy will actually pay off or that that character will actually pay off. Whereas Faye, no matter what we do, would be pretty useful. I think we'll be taking that here. Um, weakening on Crone is pretty nice here off of Faye. You can maybe just break through the armor, though, so I think there's a reason to take the boost. But I'd rather roll for the weak in here if we can. I'll even keep the defender, I think. Damage there. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six damage right now. We actually can't break through the armor, but... That's fine. We still definitely weaken the crone. Hit here. Should be able to kill the crone next turn. Student doing what student does here. AKA nothing is tragic for us. Hey okay, guys, come on, get it together, please. Thank God someone's paying attention. Thank you, Defender. Scoundrel, please fucking exit my game. 
I hate this man. I don't know. He, he, I, I did the tier list video with Voyx recently, by the way. Cool video if you want to go check it out. We did a tier list of all of the characters in Slice and Dice. Um, and Student for both of us made it pretty much in the bottom tier. This man, the big issue with Student is that he doesn't produce much mana. And he does not have a good spell. Slice is, is an abysmal spell. Um, very bad. And then his numbers are also themselves just low. So... And he has three blank sides, so he's a pretty bad character in general. Uh, here, I don't mind taking a wolf here. It's a tiny HP boost, but it is pretty good for Faye. Right? Uh, uh, you know, Faye, I mean, it's not like a game changer for Faye here, but it means that it'll be relevant for a pretty long time. I don't think we want to go for the exert here when we have a vulnerable this turn. It, although, you know, now that we're now that we're looking at it here. Kind of have to. Uh, no one's taking three damage actually with this defender. You know what? If you roll damage with the defender, it's kind of cool to bring the board down to one health. Instead, I just whiff entirely. Fuck me. Okay, well, my bad. My bad there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just wanted defender to roll one of the damage sides here so we can get board down to the stone health. But that was, you know, foolish of me to want to do that, I guess. Okay, we're fine here. We survived the turn. Scoundrel, man. I hate his ass. I hate his ass, dude. But we're okay here. One day, one day we won't have we won't have Scoundrel on the team anymore. Scoundrel! I understand that Scoundrel's better than student, but it doesn't mean I have to like Scoundrel. I still hate his ass. A character can be better or worse, and you can still dislike them. But here, obviously. Pretty good stuff going on, but I don't know. Ooh, statue. Not today, buddy. I love a Berserker here. This is a sick pickup for us. Should be a, give us a lot more consistent damage. Very cool. Would love a Weaken off of Faye this round, I think, too. A Cleave is not that good. I'd rather get a Vulnerable here. Okay. This is acceptable. There we go. Turn one, killed the wolf, neutralized the alpha. Buddy, just keep keep rolling the summons here. We'll keep weakening them. This is great news for us. Okay. We need a better blue. Man, we actually need a, a, a good blue here is fantastic for this team. Because it'll give us the mana required to circle so we can keep Berserker alive. It's like actually like really important for us. We get the vulnerability on Scoundrel, nice. Okay, this is this is actually I think game over for use uh, alpha. Very cool. And sapphire, sapphire versus first aid kit. First aid kit's pretty bad right now. Scoundrel or sapphire will pretty much almost always be useful for us here. So I'm pretty sure I actually want the sapphire, despite first aid kit being pretty good for potential roulette plays. I think just the the value that it gives us right now is pretty is pretty good. So I'm happy with that. Uh, don't want to random tier zero here. No, thank you. Okay, Defender's getting his ass beat right now. Um, can we kill one of the Soodles here? We're pretty close. We roll like a weaken. Can we get there? Mm, we keep Defender alive at the very least. Oh, we definitely get there on one of the Soodles now. Do this, and then we weaken. I guess it doesn't matter where, really. Because we keep Berserker the healthiest. Makes the most sense to me here, because he's got the pain sides. Soodle, rolling absolute shit here. You love to see it. And we have Lethal. We'll be taking that, and we'll be leaving this fight. Thank you very much. Really looking for a good blue here. A good blue gives us the mana we need for Faye, so that way we can keep Berserker alive. It's very good for us. Uh, we don't we don't see a blue here. I think Dabble is actually pretty good in this game. I think Berserker gives us the damage that we need. So Dabbler kind of just being a well-rounded character here is pretty good. I like that over Knight. Knight is is one of the better tier two grays. We just don't need Knight here. It's not a super important synergy. We have no shield bashes. We have, you know, no need for a three damage exert really on this team. I'd rather just have Dabble. I think here would be pretty solid. Barrel, very. This should be a pretty easy fight. With, with Barrel here, we... Oh, I, oh fuck. I, you know what? Never mind. Not an easy fight because 
we have the two armor. Son of a bitch. And everyone's getting weakened. Yuck. Cleave doesn't do much here. I'd rather get a pain side if I could find it, I think. Or not. Okay, fair. Um, We should start killing the barrel, but we should also weaken this quartz here to keep Berserker more likely to hit big damage next turn. If we kill the barrel, these two quartz both die. Right? That's very good for us. A very good thing to have happen here. We just need to actually get there, and I think this is there. Okay. Let's just look at things for a moment, because we can do like this. Hit. Hit. Both of you die. A student's getting weakened. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll see if a student can maybe give us some mana here. There we go. Nice. Uh, We could do something like this here. Maybe this is like technically better. I guess we, before we pain side, we do this. Right, students blocking the quartz hit. We hit for one, students weaken. Berserker just needs a roll of four and we win the fight. Take two mana here. There we go. Very cool. Um, we have Slate and Bandit here, huh? Uh, Abacus, not super useful. Iron Pendant's good enough here. Berserker doesn't have any self-shielding sides, but because of the nature of him taking so much self-inflicted damage, we're going to be putting shields on him more often, so it'll utilize that plus one a little bit better. No one, no one wants to hit Berserker this round. I see how it is, game. I'll just take these to be safe here. Tur you know, with the with the, the two shields here, we do just want to kind of play this tur first turn a little bit more defensive. I think we... Who's who's a bigger threat here? I think Slate's overall a bigger threat. I think we start working him down with the with the hit here. Heal up a little bit on Berserker. It's fine. It's an okay turn one. Nothing crazy. Oh, they hate, they hate me. They hate me real bad down here, huh? Mm. I think we're looking for, in theory, a, a, a beacon here. We can find it. I don't think we can find it. One more. Yeah, student, you kind of did this to yourself, man. I don't, I don't know what to tell you on this one. Hit here, student. Student goes bye bye. Berserker can kill Bandit in a in a single hit next turn with a with a, a poor damage roll here, or we can cleave, which is way better actually. Hit into here, heal up there. Beautiful stuff. And we keep Berserker topped off, so we have a better chance of being able to pain side next turn if we need to. Okay. We do not need to. Very good stuff, team. The whole team did a great job this combat. Oh, shit, students here too. Okay, never mind. Okay, oh, Caldera is, is good here. Caldera is not, like, amazing, but Caldera produces enough mana for me to be pretty happy with this team right now. And Cleric, you know, we don't need to talk about Cleric here. I defended Cleric in the tier list video, but in the grand scheme of things, we don't need to worry about Cleric here. Put this there. That's fine for now. Caldera might get hit by some cleave hits from Slime Queen, which should be a little bit scary, but overall, we should be fine, I think, this combat. And a pretty aggressive start here, which I like as well. I think I actually want to roll for a weaken here. Weaken prevents a lot of damage coming in. I'll take a boost, though. Boost on Caldera, because Caldera is injured here. It's a, it's a pretty good line for us. So I don't hate that. We hit here. And then I think we... I think we burst here and just try to burst out on the Slime Queen next round. I think that's a pretty good plan for us. Slimer's going for a cleave, but we survived the cleave. Then we take all of these and we look for a, a bigger... Oh, you know, that's good enough for me. I think we actually circle here. Circle to kill the Slime Queen. Do this here. And then I think we... I kind of don't hate bursting here, because then we can maybe do some big scalding next turn. But overall, that looks pretty good. It's a little bit more mana. We just need... Uh, oh, we don't need one more mana, actually, off of the Fae. Let's look at things for a moment. We can go, like, Scald. We need... We, we want some damage rolls off these off these Jabronis here, I think. Let's keep these, roll the rest. Yeah, that should be enough, I think. And we'll try to get something better on Defender here if we can. 
Okay, good. So we scald. Put like a block on you. Kill you. Beacon here. I don't think we create the slime next turn. You can play it like this. Try to try to prep for a scald here, which is which is pretty high impact if we need to. Uh, heal heal four is pretty good, but I think we just actually just go for offense this round. We have mostly lethal here. I think technically we're gonna summon a slime. We don't actually have lethal, but it's as far as we're concerned, that's basically lethal. Okay. Put these here. No slime lip. Very good stuff. Uh, I don't like either of these very much here. I think I think this is just a re-roll. Or a random, I think, here instead. It's, it's, it's just, just kind, of, it's kind of interesting on Defender. It's got 7 HP. It's a nice body for it. But I think we just take a random tier 4 here. Um, and we get Pillow. Hmm. The character we're most likely to miss on is Berserker right now. So I guess Berserker gets to hold the Pillow. Not a great line for us here. He's got, the, he's got the two X's. He will often, not often, but he might sometimes miss. So I think it's fine. Okay, everyone hates Berserker now. Luckily, he's got the shields, which is good. I think I just take a weaken here, although. Hmm. If we take both of these, it kills the imps of Berserker lives right now. So I think we actually just roll for a, a defensive move on Caldera. We try again. Okay, that's good. There we go. The hit and the hit here. Block. Oh wait, I think we didn't kill the imp yet. Never mind. There we go. Uh, not. A, I mean, we got lucky on the pseudo roll here. Let's be. Let's be honest. Could have been much worse. Pseudo rolling bigger this turn. But we are rolling bigger as well. Boost is pretty good here. I will accept that. Yeah, there we go. And we will... Oh, you know what we actually should do here? We should circle. Circle up here, and then we just double burst on this sniper. And we should be able to kill the other sniper next turn. Okay, he hates Caldera, but I think we can save him. It'd be weird if we couldn't, right? So... Cool. And we get Guardian versus Warden. This is a pretty easy Warden pickup for me here. Uh, I, I do hate this fucker, and Warden is just pretty solid value on this team. Where does Sapphire go? I think it goes on Dabbler for now. It's a pretty strict upgrade for this team. So I do like that. I'd rather get a weaken here to stop one of the graves from summoning this turn, so I think we'll roll for that. Sometimes the game is just that easy, huh? We do this. We also just take out a grave here too, this way. I think it's very much worthwhile as well. We get two mana stored up, and we should be able to kill most of these guys next turn. They're not even actually lethal anyone this turn, so that's very good news for us. We can keep weakening here, but I don't think it's required. I think we can kind of just kill things this turn, probably. We'll see, though. Hold on. Ooh, a little bit of a whiff from Caldera there. What the heck? He didn't triple S because I feel like I would I, I wasn't paying attention to Caldera's rolls there. I think I would have kept any of these if we rolled them. So maybe Caldera just triple X, which is kind of rude. In that case, maybe we do go defensive. Kill you. Kill bones. Maybe even just burst on Faye here. Whatever. Okay, Slimer is now killing my Caldera. Caldera, you need to roll things now, please. It's time. There we go. That's good enough. Thank you, sir. Take this as well. Kill you. Kill the graves. Kill you up a little bit, too. Warden. Stay sexy, buddy. And I think the slimelet here... Oh, well, the slimelet doesn't run. It dies because we burst it. He would have also maybe ran away there, though. Hmm. I think we just put Whiskey on Berserker here. Not like the most crazy synergy of all time, but it's fine. And I don't even know what we do with Pillow Man. 
I mean, literally, you're the only other character with X's called Dara, so there you go, bud. You did triple X's before, so I guess maybe, you know, it'll be useful here. I don't know. Weaken here is pretty good against the Spiker. What's nice here is that it doesn't actually, uh, doesn't actually take the recoil damage. That's pretty cool. I don't hate keeping the pain inside here because I think we can just outshield the pain. And with the weekend on Spiker, Berserker is definitely living this turn. I think it, I think it's fine, but we could we while we're Death Wish, we could just roll for the the Death Wish side here. I think we just take what we get. Not be too greedy about it. Hmm. Good circle as well here to keep Berserker more or less at the same spot. I think that's fine. Not the most amazing circle line ever, but I think, you know, Fanatic's dying next turn. We don't have to worry too much here. This is all pretty good stuff that I think we will accept. I think I actually just roll for a, a, a different thing here. Okay, well, you know what? Fuck me. That's fine. Get the spiker. I wanted I wanted to get the one of the mana attacks here to finish off the uh the fanatic, but this works too, I suppose. Take this. Aldera, I would like your pillow attack now, if you don't mind. It's pretty good this round too. Ah, eh, two mana is good enough. Oh, we have lethal, okay. That's good. Valkyrie or Fencer? Valkyrie or Fencer? I think it's a Valkyrie. I think it's a Valkyrie line here. I think I think they're both pretty solid. We don't have amazing synergies for either, but we can look for them, and I think... Or I think we can look for Valkyrie synergies here. I think it's a, it's a decent enough upgrade. Um, I think we will give Valkyrie the pillow now, too. There's especially a good chance turn when we just do nothing, because we can... You know, turn one, Valkyrie only has two sides. You have damage and you have shield. So oftentimes, no one's dying turn one, so these are worthless. This is worthless, and you get the X. I think it makes the most sense to put the pillow on Valkyrie here. Okay, Dabbler is dying. I would like to prevent Valkyrie, or Dabbler, from dying here if I can. So we'll take this shield. Okay, now instead, we'll take this and reroll on the Dabbler. Okay, good. Good stuff. Put this here. Um, I guess we just target the person targeting the the berserker right now. That makes the most sense here to me. We'll pass turn, and we should be able to do some good scalding next turn once we now that the armor's fallen off. We can be very good to stop rotten from summoning here. Cleave is not bad either. I think we'll take the cleave. Cleave plus scald this turn is very good. I don't think we keep the mana side here. I think we, again, we want to roll for weaken. There we go. Let's look at things for a moment. So we can go... We can do like... Hit. The death prevention up here. Scald into, into like burst. Nobody dies. That's That's a pretty good round. You go Scald again, but it, it doesn't do much for you there. It does like a little bit extra damage to Rotten. For the banner that it costs, I don't think it's worth it. Heal is fine here. We are getting plagued actually, huh? I need to keep that in mind. Guess we can take this. Scald here. Put the heal on Berserker. We, yeah, we have we have some characters with low max HP numbers here, so we do need to be mindful of the fact that eventually we will die to our HP being reduced to zero. Okay, Valkyrie, what do you got for me here this turn? Reason why we gave you the pillow. It's fine. Don't don't worry about it, Valkyrie. You still win. Okay, cool stuff. Tooth necklace versus ink bottle. I think tooth necklace is is fine. Kinda, it's kinda meh on this team. You know, give me the random actually instead. Give me the random. Okay, infinity heal. 
is just sick on Fey. It's basically the same combo we had the other the, the last run. But instead of boost 2, it's just two different boost 1 heal alls. That's... Maybe I'm overselling it? I think that's extremely good, if you ask me. Uh, rescue shield here is very good. Let me look for the, the, the infinite boost here. Okay, we get weakened, which is also solid here. Um... I think we are trying to break the ghost here if we can. And we can do that for the record, as you can see. Keep Berserker as healthy as possible. Doesn't really matter too much where you put it, I guess. You know what, actually? Oh, hold on. We put the weaken on the snake here to prevent the poison. That is almost certainly the better line. Okay. Not a terrible turn one. We broke the ghost intangibility, which is good, I think, for the most part. We'll definitely need this, I'm pretty sure, this round. Give me that Infinna boost. Nope. Infinna boost me. Okay, Faye kind of fallen off here on us, I must say. First here. Reduce poison incoming here. Shield. Hmm. We look for the rescue. You know what? I think... Do we have any more rolls? No, we actually kept the Valkyrie. I think we should have re the Valkyrie here. The the 8 damage would have been pretty good. Rescue shield would have also been better this round. Um. Oh, well, nothing to be done about it now. But oh, we can Scald here. Is Scald better right now? It's better, but it's not, like, incredibly better. Hmm. We do... I think this is okay. There's a very good chance Valkyrie dies soon. But Valkyrie's only one dying, actually, this turn, so that's pretty good news. Berserker... We get the infinite boost here, which is good, too. Let's see how this looks currently. We rescue shield, we hit... Basilisk, and rescue shield doesn't actually save you. Hmm. Uh, Berserker dies this way, but we pretty much guarantee the win now. You can do this. Oh, you can do it this way. Duh. That's actually... Okay, never mind. You just shield first, because you don't be stupid, actually, is the way you win this fight. Very cool. Goodbye, Snake. Uh, Fate versus Sharp Shot. I do really like the Infinite Boost Fey line here. Um, but Fate's a pretty good caster, I think, for us right now. Sharp Shot's kind of just whack. I, I like Dabble on this team. Or Dabbler, I should say. I think I'll just take the Fey. Or the Fate. We lose the, we lose the cool combo, but I think that's not the end of the world. And you know what? Two infinity heal is probably better than two shields, so that's that's good enough here. I think we will... What does this do, actually? I was hoping maybe this would somehow revive people and also heal everyone. Not the case, unfortunately. Because revive is not a keyword. Okay. So Hydra is killing fate. One, two... We can just dodge here. We can just dodge and prevent a lot of damage being dealt to us. I think I actually like that line. Um, we maybe kill the ogre this turn or get it pretty close. Take the mana. I think we actually choose to do... No I mean, we, we do nothing with, with Valkyrie here. Let me be clear. We, ju we just press no buttons because that way it, it turns on the pillow. 
And then next turn, we can start stranding. We have Scald if we really need it too. Okay, let's look at things for a moment. So we have Strand. We Death Wish first here though, for sure. Do something like that. Strand here. Probably just Death Prevent here and then Burst. Oh. And then we roll, we re-roll on Caldera for, for mana gain instead this turn. Other than that, looks really good to me. On Caldera, there we go, perfect, okay. So, Strand, hit, Strand, gain mana, death immune here, hit. I guess we just shield on, on Berserker. I think that makes sense. I guess we can... Uh, does it matter if we burst here or not? I don't think it matters too much. You know, I think we actually just pass the turn. We leave we leave one mana in the in the pool here. I think we just we just go into this fight this round with three mana and it makes it so it's much easier for us to proc the Hydra kill. Okay, right now we have one, two, four hits. We just need one from these two characters. Okay, well. Maybe next round. We're still we're still a, a hit short, so. Nice try, guys. Nice try. Fate just gotta roll like a mana side here, dude. One, two, three. Or one, two, three. I think this is enough. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Let's get one more roll. Never mind. I'm pretty sure it is enough. Yeah. I I can do math. Also, it was, it was almost just enough damage to kill to begin with, so that's pretty funny. Uh, Charge Link on Fate just seems really strong here. Broadsword's a pretty good item. It's a it's a good improvement most of the time here for these characters. Like, it is just a strict improvement on Berserker, basically. Good item for you, but Charge Link on Fate is very... It's a, it's a strict upgrade. There's no doubting it. It is strictly better for our character. You can make the argument for Berserker that, like, oh, well, you know... Uh, cleave. Sometimes better than, than 4 damage, right? Um, but Charge Link here is just a strict upgrade for Fate. And I like Charge Link too. Uh, pretty, pretty not bad here on this team. So, take that. This fight isn't too scary, but if the Gnolls, like, target the same person Spiker's targeting, it could cause some issues here. Luckily, they all spread their targeting out separately, so that's good news. Take these. Okay, a fantastic turn for us here. I think... We will kill the top knoll here. Hold on. Is there a way that makes sense here for us to kill? If we can actually double scald you. Maybe that's kind of not that useful. I don't know. It doesn't matter how you do this, I guess. There's, there's, there's maybe like yeah, the shield, the shield, the, sh the starting shields plus Null's armor is very annoying here. But this works well enough, I suppose. Put a, put a, a burst down here just to keep Caldera a little bit healthier. Okay. People are dying this turn, but we get the we get the the boosted Fey here, which is nice. Hmm. We just roll it again. Okay, Valkyrie. Take a take a break here. Faye, good job. I think we just hit here. Probably hit here. And we have a trillion bursts to do. Here's the thing, we could do like burst into strand to hit here. And burst into strand as well. Into like scald. We have scald. Hold on, I'm stupid. Hold on, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Don't ignore me. We should be scalding here. So we do this first. 
into the skull. Okay. And then we just burst Spiker twice. And I think we win from this position. Sp uh, our Caldera can hit the Spiker. I was going to say for a second there. Caldera's dying. He can't hit the Spiker. He can. Everyone can. Fight's over. Weaver makes the most sense here for this team right now, I think. Bash is fine, but Berserker's, Berserker's already a pretty passable character for us. And Weaver with the charge links on Fate, to me, just makes so much sense. So I think we'll do that. We don't care too much about the spell itself. It's just we're just going to win by virtue of creating 15 mana on turn two pretty consistently here, I think. Okay, so they hate they hate Dabbler. I don't know what Dabbler did today to deserve this, but they hate his ass. Looking for a death immune here, maybe, on, on Valkyrie. Very cool, thank you. Um, I think we crush here into double burst here. Into, we have some mana here still. Guess we just do that. It's fine. Okay, Dabble is still being hit by the die side. I don't think we'll be doing any of that today. Let's hold this for now. We could kill him and bring him back this turn, or hers, I think. I believe I believe Dabble is a lady. We could do that, but that doesn't seem very good. You know what? I'll take this so we can actually get our, our, our initial chip in here, because we haven't chipped him yet. Death Immune would have been good this turn. Death Immune would have been cool, because that would let us actually play the Dabble. But this is okay. End of the day, this is still pretty strong. Okay, Slate is here. Killing Dabble. We'll take pretty much all of these this turn. Once again, create 8 mana. Hit here. Can we strand you? We can strand you. That's pretty good value. Uh, I don't hate doing just like a crush here as well. It's like, oh, shit, we can chip. There we go. It's pretty close to lethaling Basalt. I think we just pass here. It means we can't, it, we can't crush Basalt this turn. Not the end of the world, though. Rescue Shield here is probably pretty good. We'll take that. Four damage, also pretty nasty with it, I think. Yeah, this this is a disgusting combo, I feel like. These two these two characters with the charge link on fate just seems like it's gonna do just just again nasty things today. That's nice. Guess we didn't need the uh the, the shield here, huh? Bye. Uh, Wandcraft. Wandcraft is even stronger than what we got going on right now. That's pretty cool. Mm. Here's the thing, though. Actually, I think I like more. I think I just like putting Mirror Mask on Dabbler more. Because now we just now we just have a uh, another Weaver, basically. On this team, another Weaver seems really strong. We'll take that. Put this up here. Then I don't know what else we do, really. I think there's a a with this team right now. I think there's an argument to be made that this is actually better than the the, the one heal shield. I think the one heal shield is better, but there's an argument to be made that this is the better pick here. I don't know. Hard to say. Omni heal is now just kind of worthless for us though. But whatever. I guess you can do this. It's not the worst line ever. I do feel like. Uh, two Omni Heal is, is probably a better side than two, uh, than two, what's it called? Than two Revive? You know, actually, I will play this. But we'll probably take it off for the final boss. In the final boss, the Revive is probably more worthwhile. Okay, Weaver's getting his ass beat right now. That's fine. We get a Rescue Shield here. Okay. We do get to just kill the Hydra. With bursts. You get to fuck up these wisps, wisps also here this turn. 
Yeah, that's a that's a pretty strong turn one right now. <laughs> I think it doesn't matter who our orange is, no matter what. We're pretty much just gonna keep the mirror mask on it. I'm pretty sure. This is just kind of a, oh, yeah, actually against Hexia, we kind of are a little bit boned in that sense. We don't have a great way to actually handle Hexia right now. Uh, do we want Brawler? Because Dabalist is just a, it's just two more HP on effectively the same character. Because again, we're not. We're playing the mirror mask on our on our orange here on this team. Do we want to look for a better? Let's see. Let's what yellows do we have left to see for tier three? Let's take a look here. Most of them still. Here's the problem. We take we take Dabalist here, and then they show us something like a center or leader. Actually, leader's not that bad on this team. That I think about it too. Um. They show us like wanderer and eccentric, and I'm a little bit sad on this team. I think that's fine. I think we can find a better character for us than Brawler here. Uh, so I think we will take the Dabalist. And just take a slight upgrade to our guy here. I think that's okay. Okay, Valkyrie is dying. This is a pretty good turn, though, for us. I think we don't take the Death Defier because we can just go for a... Well, actually... Hmm... I like putting the shield on Berserker, actually, I think, this turn. So, sure. I think this makes sense. Um, Is there a way to... No, there's no way to get, like, a strand value on Berserker here. Berserker's not going that low. Yeah, okay. We do this, put this here... I think we just do the double crushes like that, and then pass the turn. Valkyrie being pain, not that big of a deal. We have the Death Defy sides here. We have the, we have the Omni Heal now too, actually, which is pretty good with pain. I think we'll take that this round. We're looking for a charge side here. We get the charge side. Fight is over. <laughs> right, so we get to just go crush, 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 and then hit here into burst until you die. Very cool. Very cool. Goblet of Life is a pretty good pickup for Valkyrie here. Um, or maybe we put it on Berserker. Let's look at the let's look at our Emerald Mirror line though. Is Emerald Mirror good here? Uh, we copy. We copy Charge Link actually. Oh shit, we copy Charge Link. It has to be good, right? What else do we copy? We copy Infinite Heal, which we can take off. We don't care too much. Oh, it's actually it's actually a, a Emerald Mirror line here for sure. Emerald Mirror on our Dabalus right now. Or, or on Weaver. Either way is fine, right? But... Did we take this off now? Right? And now it's just... It's just crazy. I guess, you know what? I guess Weaver is technically more important than Dabalus is. Because Weaver is the one holding the crush spell. Dabalus is just here for the sides. So I guess we want to give this to Weaver because Weaver now has the whiskey. I think this, this is the correct way to play it. Anyway. Next combat, what does this Jinx do? Monster left side plus three. A couple of the Wisps seem to have rolled their left side here. A little fucked up, honestly, but it, not, the, the Jinx didn't roll, so that's like the, the you know, that'd be worst case scenario, so we should be fine here. Uh, I don't think we need to roll Rescue Shield here. I'm pretty sure we have, like, infinite mana this turn. Let's just, let's just, let's just run through the turn, though. Here we go. And then we kill you. Guess we not matter too much. We kill you, and then yeah, and we, we do this. Wiz heals himself one. We win next turn. This is this is maybe the most like consistent make twenty mana team I've ever had in my life. Like this is this is again levels of consistency I've never seen before when it comes to making a billion mana. We just have to hope we don't see Hexia because Hexia will I think we don't have a good line against Hexia here basically. And it is Dragon. Okay, I feel pretty good about this. You fuckers, you. I mean, this is fine. We'll take Leader here because Leader is pretty good with redoing. When they roll a non uh, single use mana side, the Leader will be useful here. But Eccentric is just dog shit on this team. So give me this man. 
Give me this man. We'll put the shields, I guess. I don't know. Here and here for now. That's fine. You fucker. You, you fucking piece of shit. Boost is so bad on this team. Like, it does nothing. Three damage. The only thing we care about you here, leader doing, is doing the reuse side. That's about it. That's all you have for us. Okay. Death, death immune here is pretty good, maybe. Okay, guys, roll the mana, please. Thank you. Very good. Unfortunately, Leader doesn't do shit today. Guess we just keep crushing, huh? And... Actually, like, defensive bursting on Fate here, I think. And then defensive bursting on Weaver this turn. Great work, Leader. Keep it up. Okay. We'll take these. I don't care about... I, I care about keeping Davos alive, actually. We'll do this. Yeah, that's good enough. Good enough here. Hit. We burst. And we do need to kill this dragon next turn because a lot of our characters are dying this turn, huh? Do this. Okay, we're just we're rolling none of the charge link sides, which is not that good. Need to re-roll on one of you instead. I think we just keep going, honestly. It's fine. Hmm. We can... You do, like, strand into strand. There. And then we just kind of let Valkyrie go here. It would be weird if we lost from this position, I think. These fuckers make so much mana. We need to do 8 damage. That should be very doable for us here. Okay, that's enough. Okay, they, they, they went off here now. Okay, good. They chose this turn to finally go off. Okay, it took them a... They low rolled a little bit. But we win. Very cool. Very cool game. Very cool fight. The win streak extends a little bit further. Let's see. Where are we on the leaderboards? I think I showed it before. It's like four positions higher, right? Yeah. But we're almost top 50. We get we get one more win. I think we are. I can check, actually. Hold on. Guess we'll see our stats here, too. If you're curious about it. So I believe... Go to the stats here. We get one more win. Get to the 18 win streak mark. And that does put us in top 50, just barely. We just barely edge our way in there. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I will see you next video. Maybe I'll see you for the stream today. Uh, goodbye.